What's up? Nerd here, coming at you with a very brief video today. Felt kind of bad because I haven't posted anything this week. We've been busy streaming and trying to climb. I'm rocking three Grandmaster accounts right now, so it is pretty time consuming. We've been streaming quite a bit lately. Um, if you haven't followed me on stream, I recommend it. We have a good time and also join the Discord. At first, I wasn't going to make a video about this, but many of you inquired to me through personal messages that you wanted me to, and you say I always do it on stream anyway, so why not talk about it? What I'm referring to is my warm up routine. Many people like to go into Overwatch cold, meaning that they just log in and then they play a comp game. I don't think that's very smart because one, your aim is just not warm at that point. It doesn't matter if you played the day before or not. What I usually do is spend about the first 30 minutes to even an hour warming up, depending on how serious I'm taking the gameplay session. I always start out in the practice range and I usually start with Tracer, just because if you can aim with Tracer, in my case, then I can aim just about with any hero I play. I usually run around with Tracer for a while and kill some of the bots at first. I also like to warm up my Twitch, which you'll see many streamers do on occasion, which means you basically face one way with the bots behind you and you quickly flick left or right and then see how fast you can readjust your tracking. This is good because it warms you up mentally and also gets your wrist and hand and arm adjusted to the movement required to track. After playing a little bit of Tracer, I'll usually switch to Mei or D.Va just to get the skill usage warmed up. So that's things like pressing shift and E and just the, just the different mechanics of the different heroes in case I have to play them in comp. Very soon after that, after I spend a few minutes in the practice range, I'll go over to quick play and I'll either play one or two games and that's based on you know how many minutes I wanna play warming up. I wanna get into a game where I can easily use my heroes. So if you know the other team is running a try hard comp, I probably won't stay in that game. I'll probably back out because I'm not wanting to play that game if it's not going to help me warm up. That said, if the game is winnable, I'll usually start on a hero like Tracer and then slowly move through different heroes until I get to D.Va and then I'll probably end on D.Va and then go right into comp. And after that, I should be warm enough. I should be calm enough. I'll have enough game sense to be able to focus in comp and also some of those pre-game jitters will be worked out beforehand. The only takeaway from this video is really that you should make sure you warm up before comp no matter what brand your year in. It doesn't hurt anything and honestly in quick play because of the way the matchmaking system so elegantly puts you with players of higher skill more often than not, you can also get better by playing against those better players. I often play against platinums and golds and diamonds master players in quick play and usually when players like me and others um, at my skill bracket are warming up, it's a good practice for you. Other than that, I also really recommend you joining us every weekend for our 6v6 custom game sessions. We've done this three weekends in a row and each time we've had a full turnout, uh, even, from the, even from the first session. The feedback I've gotten is that it's been really useful for many of you to be able to play against me and my Grandmaster friends because you get a sense of the skill required in that bracket. So if you want to be a part of that, join the Discord and then look for the announcements. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Best of luck. See ya.